What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and wow, Empires and Puzzles has just printed a legendary Titan Killer for the first time in a long time. Let's talk about Oceanus. But first, download Jumpstone Legends, a mobile RPG puzzle match game. Use the link in the description to start with free stuff, including a bonus hero. All right, so Oceanus is a five-star legendary red titan killer. So if you don't already have Mickey or Ranveer or Tarlac, or even if you already have those other heroes that boost attack that stacks, you can now add Oceanus to the list. This is in the Atlantis summon, so they're coming out with really good new heroes to keep that summon portal active. Let's break him down. He is of the Paladin class, which I think is really excellent for him. In fact, Paladin is... Uh, probably pretty underrated class it makes the hero really difficult to kill and that's really important against the titans which hit just so so hard of course he's part of the atlantis family which gives you a bonus of 5 10 15 20 or 25 percent defense again making him tough to defeat uh, he's got 873 attack 725 defense which is kind of low but it's sort of made up for it by um having the atlantis family bonus and the paladin class and then 1371 hp Strength of the Behemoth is the special. It is average speed. Take note, because everybody who's using Mickey, Mickey is slow. But Mickey has been the Titan Killer of choice for a long time now. And now all of a sudden you get a faster one. Because all you have to do is put a mana troop on it that's leveled up enough. Now there's two different types of mana troops. Remember that. But if it's leveled up enough, you can essentially make Oceana's fast speed by reducing the number of tiles needed from 10 to 9. That's usually three matches. Um, also, uh, the special says he deals 220% damage to all enemies. Mickey doesn't deal damage to enemies. Now, Mickey silences, which is really, really powerful, but this is some extra damage on top of that, which is really cool. It's more offensive than Mickey, which Mickey's a little more defensive silencing the Titan. All allies get plus 120% normal attack for four turns. That's huge. This effect can be active in addition to effects that alter attack in general. Normal attacks can have a total maximum of 170% increased power while this effect is active. So yes, what that means is you compare Oceanus' increased attack with other heroes that increase attack. I mean, from its most basic level, like Bold Tusk, right? That increases attack. Or like, I just got Tethys recently, which increases attack. Um, so there's a number of heroes that will do that as well. Krampus does that, right? But um, of course, you can use Oceanus with this special with any of the other colored teams um that's what you do with mickey right so like mickey even though it's a blue hero you're going to use it against pretty much every titan the same thing is going to be true of oceanus all allies get plus 46 percent defense for four turns so there's another defense increase i think that's why they put this defense so low because oceanus is getting so many defense bonuses uh with, through passives and, and talents and things like that that uh it's going to be really hard to kill oceanus all right so um Based on what I'm looking at here, pretty much everything about Oceanus is better than Mickey, except that Mickey silences, but Oceanus is faster. Um, Oceanus has great stats. Oceanus stacks. I mean, the fact that you can set the special off even quicker means you're using less mana vials against the Titan and things like that. But let's let's take a, a quick look at where else you can use Oceanus. Because I think that moving it from slow to average is going to make it viable in way more places than Mickey's viable. Mickey's viable primarily as a Titan killer and also in very fast wars and, and tournaments and things like that. But check this out. For those of you who really enjoy the events and trying to place in the top, Oceanus is going to be vital. The fact that he's average speed and you can essentially get him to go off fast means that in any of the events that you're playing, when he goes off, he's going to just increase the attack of the entire team to an absurd level. You don't have the misses of like Ranveer or Wukong. You don't um, you don't have uh, necessarily the off color if you happen to get multiples like Tarlac and Oceanus and Mickey. You don't necessarily have to have an off color problem now if you happen to get multiples of them. But even if you don't, Oceanus is going to serve well no matter what in the events to help you place in the top because what matters most in the events more than anything is the tile damage that you do and oceanus of course is going to increase that greatly 
This is true even of just regular raids, which actually I think like regular raids, regular war is probably where Oceanus is not at his best. And he's still dang good. Like still really good because you can totally take Oceanus now in at average speed dealing 220% damage to all enemies. Like I would love to have Oceanus on my boomer bus team. Think of that increased attack at essentially fast speed. And then like, oh my gosh. So dealing all that damage, getting all that increased attack, um, he would just annihilate opponents. And this is this is raids and war where he's not as good as like events and titans. So of course, as you can see, I'm really excited about him. I think he's amazing. He is an A+. Plus. This is the first A+, plus I'm ever giving because... He's just straight up like better than pretty much everything printed that looks like him. And he can be used in every situation. I know I probably could have given A pluses to heroes in the past. I've just avoided doing it um, because I, I kind of want to see a hero that is just game breaking. And I think Oceanus is that kind of hero. Here's the problem. He is in the Atlantis summon, although he's featured right now. Right now is one of the few times that you can get him. The percent chance that you're going to get him is, is really, really low. So the legendary featured hero is 1.3%, and this is the best you're ever going to see until he comes back around in the cycle. But um, this is it. Not a lot of people are going to get him. Unlike Mickey, a lot of people got Mickey. Not a lot of people are going to get Oceanus. So those are my thoughts. Um, that's what I think about uh, Oceanus. I think he's great. A-plus hero. Let me know if you get them. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I drop new videos or go live. And I will catch you in the next one.